Hi everybody, it's Monday, December 11th, 2023. Good morning and welcome to Against the Public. I'm Dana Lane. Good afternoon in some spots. We're the only show that combs through early betting patterns, tells you exactly where you might want to steer clear of public opinion. Today we've identified three NBA games for the Monday card where I think early public betting trend might be a little bit misguided and has given us a better number to put our money behind. After the show, go to pickdogs.com where you'll find my top three NBA plays locked in on a three-pack card for just $54.99. This, car, this uh, package comes with our Pick Dogs win guarantee that states you must profit or receive an immediate site credit for the purchase price. That's the kind of uh, confidence that you deserve behind your money. Last night, we cranked out another profitable night on PickDogs.com for my all-access customers, and we're going to do it again tonight. If you need reasons why you should join me today, here they are. We'll start with yesterday when, when my all-access customers were 2-1 and one in the NFL, 2-1 and one on the ice. That high, highlighted my card. And you think, well, just 2-1. and one. Well, we do that every day, guys. It's 67% it's winners. No, I'm realistic on this. We know we're not doing it every single day. But as unimpressive as 2-1 and one sounds, it's still profit. And that's what we're doing every day is to try to squeeze a profit out. And at the end of the month, at the end of the year, we look back and say, hey, we we had a pretty good year. Overall, over the last seven days, uh, my record is now 46 in 25, good for 65% winners, 1,874 units of profit. That's number one in that span. That record also includes a 5 and 2 NFL record, 1 and 0 in college football. 14-3 and three in the NBA, which is scorching hot. I'm so glad we're back to a big schedule. Also good for the number one spot in the NBA uh, over the last week. One, uh, number one on the ice as well with at least 20 plays. So that's just in the last seven days. You could have been on part on, on you could have been on board with that. Uh, just get involved with one of my all-access pass. Over the last 30 days, I've hit 58.3% of my college football selections. 55% of my college basketball plays. In 2023, I'm the number one college football handicapper with over 2,000 units won, almost 2,100 units won, number one in the NBA with at least 100 plays as well. So all records are updated hourly at pickdogs.com. That's really all that needs to be said. Be to become an all-access uh, member, go to pickdogs.com. Purchase one of my various packages, including my 30-day all-access pass, which I've seen have gone this morning. I appreciate everybody who's jumped on board with that. Uh, make sure that the rest of December going into the new year is a profitable one. And then, of course, my 90-day all-access pass. Uh, both of those uh, both of those packages are for less than $100 a month. Get involved right now, no matter how you do it, even if you buy just individual plays. Thank you so much for putting your confidence uh, behind me. So let's get to our free NBA plays for Monday. I'm going to start off with game 547-548, 7.30 Eastern Time, Toronto Raptors at the New York Knicks. New York minus four, 221. So far, 70% of the money has come in on the Knicks and 79% of the tickets. So the pros and the Joes, they agree on the New York Knicks. I do not. I still need to see if Jalen Brunson is 100%. We saw that he twisted his ankle against the Boston Celtics. Word is, and late, latest injury report says he'll play tonight. But again, just want to see, are, are you 90%? Are you 85%? That tells me a lot, and I need 100% uh, out of these guys, and or maybe even less than that. So we'll see exactly. I mean, we almost kind of think when, when guys are putting a lineup, hey, they're 100%. They're going to be what they are. And some guys, sometimes guys are playing hurt, so I still need to see that. I still need to see the Knicks not give up 133 points to Boston, 142 points to Milwaukee. Milwaukee shot over 60% in that game and 23 and shot 23 threes uh, in that contest. This is a revenge spot for Toronto after losing by 13 10 days ago to New York. I'm going to take Toronto plus the four. Game number two, 8 o'clock Eastern time. Game number 547, uh, 549, 550. Chicago Bulls versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Milwaukee minus 11. 233 is your total. 93% of the early money and 77% of the tickets are on Chicago. So both pros and Joes on, on the Bulls. 
the Bucks have had three days to stew about being knocked out of the in-season tournament. Uh, and word is that they're they're not very happy. You've seen it in press conferences. I've had guys tell me that covered the team. They're not happy about losing. They still think they're you know amongst the four best uh, NBA teams out there. Could it be a wake up call for them? Uh, for, and not only them, for a lot of teams, Indiana as well. A wake up call for them for the rest of the season. We see Bulls money coming in because they've uh, covered four straight games after failing to cover five straight prior to that. Uh, Giannis has publicly come out and questioned the team's cohesiveness, which is as good as saying, uh, you know, we need to play better. And he's publicly saying it. Your leader of your team is saying, I question whether we have a cohesive unit here. Yes, we know they have top two or three that is fantastic every night, but they absolutely are decimated by teams that have a deep bench. Uh, usually the, that kind of public out, uh, you know, outcry or public going public with your feelings about the team usually results uh, in, in, a, in a group coming together and playing well the next the next day. And if it doesn't mean that, if Milwaukee does not play well, in fact, if they lose this game outright, that also tells you something about this team as well. I'm going to take Milwaukee in a route here. I, I don't think there's any problems. You, you don't get that same feeling about the Bucks that we had a year ago. Like this is a guarantee this this team is guaranteed to be in the Eastern Conference Finals. We thought about that, you know, for the last couple of years. But you know, there's something about them that's not quite right. And I think cohesion is absolutely the right word to use here. But I still think I mean they they're way better than the Chicago Bulls. I'm not getting excited just because the Bulls are on a cover streak or a win streak. We're gonna take Milwaukee uh, minus the eleven and a half in this one. In game number three, eight o'clock Eastern time, San San Antonio Spurs versus the Houston Rockets. Uh, the Battle of Texas is by two teams that aren't so great, although Houston is does have their nose above the 500 mark this year. Houston minus 9 and 224. 91% of the money and 74% of the tickets are on the Rockets, who are nine-point favorites after opening eight. So the Rockets are coming off their first road win of the season against the Denver Nuggets, but almost blew that game. You remember, they were up by 25 in that game. The windle that lead down to seven and then, you know, hung on. But... Uh, the final 825 of that game, they failed to score. I mean, that that really sticks with me. And, and you know, people that look at the box score, and this is why you need to watch these games. Uh, you look at the box score the next day and you go, oh, wow. I mean, uh, what a what a great job by the, uh, by the Rockets. A huge win against the defending champions. But what the box score never tells you is scoring droughts. And this last 825, man, that was that was brutal to watch. I am in no mood to lay nine points. And by the way, this is a number that looks like the books are begging you to take Houston. We're going to take the Spurs plus the nine. So that does it for our three free games today. Please go to pickdogs.com right now. Get involved with one of my many packages, including my NBA three pack that is up there for $54.99. That comes with our Pick Dogs win guarantee. Get that five pack now or jump on a 30 day pass or a 90 day pass where you get every one of my plays, uh, whether it's college or pro football, uh, the National Hockey League, NBA, college basketball, get it all for one low price. All those are individual games are locked in on the website right now as well. So let's keep on building that bankroll. Before we go, I just I want to get back, and we did this a little bit to start, but I wanted to get back with throwing some numbers out to you, which could be helpful whether or not you take my games or you're kind of just looking for inf information on games. And I thought it would be good to update who the top three teams against the spread are and who the bottom three teams against the spread are. So, um, or are is something like that. Anyway, um, the top three NBA teams against the spread to start, start 2023 are as follows as the page, um, of course, refreshes at the worst time ever. Uh, the top three teams against the spread, number three, OKC uh, is a number three with a 14-6-1 mark ATS plus 669 units based upon a 100-unit wager. Uh, they will play Utah tonight. They're a 12.5-point favorite. 62% of the money is coming in on Utah, so you might be able to get a better number with OKC. Just kind of wait for that. Maybe we're going to see a 12, maybe an 11.5. That's uh, it's surprising that Utah uh, money would be coming in. Number two, the Orlando Magic, 16-6 and six ATS this year. Plus 857 units. They'll take on the Cleveland Cavaliers tonight. 
Uh, they are uh, what, minus one and a half, 87% of the money coming in on Orlando. And the Brooklyn Nets, 16-4-1 ATS, are the number one team against the spread this year, plus 1,051 units. They'll be at Sacramento, uh, where they're getting four and a half points in this game. 93% uh, of the money is coming in on the Nets. And check that, Cleveland minus one and a half in that game. Um, uh, let me uh, hold on a second. Let me check that real quick, cause that, cause when I had that little bit of a, a blurb, I don't know. We'll go off the cuff. Not everything has to be, not everything, uniform. But I want to make sure that that information is absolutely correct for you. So let me just give me a second. I know. Yeah, Orlando minus one and a half in this game. So if you're betting the Magic, you only have to lay uh, less than a bucket against Cleveland. So now the bottom three teams against the spread at number three. Unfortunately, is the San Antonio Spurs uh, not that bad though? Not like you know crazy bad. Eight and thirteen ATS minus five hundred and seventy-five units. Of course, they take on the Rockets tonight. Number two is the Denver Nuggets. Surprising, I, I guess. I don't know. It, there's something that happens after you win a title the next year. They're just your belly's full. You're not as uh, you, you you're not as driven to win the next year. Uh, especially defensively. God, that's where it goes first. Uh, Denver, 8-14-1 ATS this year. They'll be at Atlanta. Uh, Denver, minus 2.5, 68% of the money is coming in on the Nuggets. Uh, Atlanta is the worst team to bet on this year so far. 5-16 and 16 ATS. That is a bad mark, and that is something uh, to take into account when you put your money uh, behind uh, on your NBA card. So just to recap our free plays for today, we're going to go with Toronto, uh, 547 Toronto plus 4, uh, team number 550, this is the rotation number, uh, 550 Milwaukee minus 11.5, and, and 551 San Antonio plus the 9. So that does it for today's show. For Against the Public, I'm Dana Lane. I wish you nothing but the best with your wagers on Monday. Let's have a fantastic week, guys. Have a good night.